what's going on guys welcome back jacked up fishing well today i'm in the big boat we are in the 37 c hunter i just repowered it we're out here trying these motors out we're gonna do a little bit of bottom fishing see what we can get into We've got a pretty heavy onshore wind so it might be a little choppy out there but i'm also going to use the rodan if we can so got my boy mike d what's up boom captain mike d's on the wheel and hopefully we get into something all right let's go Well guys, seems like they're running really good. I'm pretty pumped. No issues yet, no errors. I'm just gonna continue running it all day and uh, run some fuel through her. We're actually gonna go. We got a pretty hard onshore wind this morning. So I'm hoping we can get out of the inlet, run down the beach, maybe hit some uh, spots along the uh, close reefs down south, see what we see. And uh, hopefully we get into something. Got about a hundred live shrimp. We're gonna see what we can do on these lanes and whatever else bites. All right, guys, here we go. Big interval, but it's getting a little rougher. I'm gonna try out the road in. Got the sea swivel here. Pretty cool. Just gonna pop it open. Boom. Let it lock in. I'm gonna adjust this bad boy all the way down. Let's go. Piece of cake. We just set the spot lock. It's pretty windy out here. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna drop a shrimp down, see what we got. Hopefully we get on something. Looks like Mike's got something on. What we got? A little weak fish. Nice. That's a good one. That's a pretty decent one, yeah. Hey, you see the beach back there. Nice. I just started getting a little bite here. Oh, there he is. Let's see what we got here. He's small. He's small. Ah, he feels small. Look at the grunt. Ooh, that's a good grunt for a live baiter, though. Throw him in the live well. Good buddy. Oh, I'll get behind you. Get one more spot here. One more shrimp. Let's hit here. Oh god, that was a sharp hit. Felt like a little snapper hit. Oh I missed him. Yeah. Wanna go to a different spot? All right, guys. Well, we caught, we're trying some new spots today. I'm just testing the motors out and we're just heading some, trying some new spots, doing a little reconnaissance mission. Just on this one, we found some weak fish. Not what we're really looking for. They are good fish, but we're just, we're looking for something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and move to the next spot. It's getting a little dirty out here. As we move to a different spot now the sun has come out 
Got a good mark down there. We're marking some good fish. Hopefully I can get on something. Let's go. Mike's got a good one on I got a net too if you need them. Oh, I got one too. Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish. Ah, it is. Mine don't feel reddish. Mine feels reddish. <laughs> Two reds right off the bat. Got to weed through them. Maybe we'll get into something else. First drop. Boom. All right, little red guy, little red one. Going back in the water. See if we can't weed through them, catch some fish. Oh, there he is. God dang. See what he is. See what he is. Feels red. He is. He is. Yep, yep. Another red one. Damn. It ain't even lasting. Boom. Cute little guy. That's a great mark, though. I'll tell you that. Bottom. There he. Oh! Oh, he got me. All right, guys, this is what I'm using. I'm using a Calcutta 400. I have a seven foot flipping stick. It's a St. Croix. Um, 30 pound braid, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Got about an ounce and a half lead and a one aught mood two light circle. Hooking my shrimp just like that. And we're sending them down. Watch how fast this is right here. This is how fast it comes on. I'm dropping down and we're in about 65 foot of water. I'm hoping to get something besides a red snapper. Looking for something besides a red snapper. Dropping down still, still going down. All right, just hit bottom. He's already on. I can already feel him. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. He's pulling some drag. It feels like a snapper too. Yeah, sure it would be nice to have a big mango like that size. Now wind down on him. Wind down. Let's see what he is here. Like, like oh yeah he's a pretty good one too for its little rod nice little red snapper oh he gut hooked himself too well bummer see how deep it is here all right i'm gonna let him keep that hook that hook's gonna rot out within about three four days it's a little too snappery but i think it's got potential right all right, retying my hook on. Modified clinch knot. That's what I use. All right, go get me a shrimp. Mike just put the talc out. With a oh, dude! No! No! no. Wow! That just Whoa. That just dude. That just have, didn't even have the bait all the way down. Didn't grab this one. Didn't even have the bait all the way down to the bottom. Literally, it's right there below the boat. Brother, dude, you almost lost your favorite rod, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good effect. Dang, son. Wow. Wow. One of the cluster right there, you know. Wow. That was a cluster right there, y'all. Man. <laughs> we saved it, bro. We saved it. Let me get my camera. Oh, man. I just had to dump the camera and pick up my boy's rod out of the water. Wow. Good night. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Yes. Oh, wow. Got it. He just bought that from me the other day. Crowder rod, pen slammer. 
It's like a five hundred dollar combo, buddy. Woo! All right. After all the shenanigans, now I'm going back down. We saved the rod. Wow. I might that might have been a king mackerel. Yeah. Damn. Let's put another one out. Alright, we're already back down here. And he's already on it. There he is. It's a pretty good fish here. Is that the same one or the used one? The new one. I gotta tighten up this reel, I feel. Oh, bad boy's pulling. These red snapper pull, buddy. I'm just hoping we can weed through these red snapper. Yeah, that's another one. Bill's got a fish here. I saved my rod. Man. Yeah, they're fun. Heart's still racing about my rod, though. Two weeks yet. Hit the bottom again. Already getting a bite. Alright, y'all. This will be mine and Bill's last drops. We'll try and find something else. Oh, there he is. God dang. Get it. Something besides a red snapper, please. Nope. Another red snapper. All you want right here, y'all. Well, about to rename this one the, the snap a hole. Yep, go back in. Yeah. Mike's getting worked over here. Get it, boy, get it. Guess I should probably have the net ready just in case. I got it ready. Get it. Look, he's giving you a workout, dude. Yeah, he's fighting. Fuck's a big red one. Exactly what it is. Yeah, big red. Mmm. Dang. Just can't get away from these things, man. Nope. Snapper City. Alright, I'm dropping down one more time here. Already there, dude. I didn't even I locked it in, dude. It's right there. Oh good night. <laughs> little payback which one of these is a big mango that'd be freaking epic yep yep you unhook this bad boy and we're out of here slide up in there boom all right moving the spots again oh my god there he is already all right we repositioned to a new spot and Bill's already hooked up man yeah I'm pretty sure it's They get they put a good fight up, that's for sure. There's another one. Man. Yeah. 
Yeah, hey, mine hooked right in the lip. That's what the circle hooks are supposed to do. Mine didn't do its job. Boom. We decided to call it a day on that note. It started getting a little rougher. We were just riding, checking out the engines, making sure everything was running perfect. And they did, it went off without a hitch. No errors, no faults. And I uh, just ran, I, I think I've actually put 200 miles on the boat since that video. So everything's still running good, which is great. So I can start running some tuna trips with uh, a lot of confidence. Also next Tuesday, be on the lookout. I got some videos, we just restored this been in the works for a couple years been sitting in the back of my parents house finally got it ready to go all i gotta do is start rigging it now and this is our gigging boat the ultimate gigging boat so stay tuned on tuesdays look for that videos to be popping up every tuesday i got some uh bending pipe bending welding and we built this john boat and it came out really good i'm pretty pumped but uh that's all i got for you on this video i hope you all liked it even though we didn't catch nothing but red snapper but the main thing was, like I said, is to test out them engines. All right. Well, if you haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know in the comments if you like the boat working or the fishing more. All right. See you on the next video. Jacked up out.